and our word for today on this memorial of St. Alphonsus Liguori on this Thursday, August the 1st. Our word for today is rise up. Rise up, taken from our first reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah chapter 18 at the very beginning. This word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Rise up, be off to the potter's house. There I will give you my message. Rise up, be off to the potter's house, and there I will give you my message. Um, that's the only part we're going to, to read from the book of the prophet Jeremiah today, where the word actually comes from. But what I wanted to point out is often that's what the Lord calls us to do. He calls us into action before he reveals his whole plan for us, before he tells us exactly what he wants us to do. We see him say it over and over again to the apostles, to his followers, get up, rise up, let's go, time to go. What do we need to do? <laughs> you know, At the very end in the Garden of Gethsemane, right before he is to be arrested, he uses again that same phrase, rise up. What does it mean? It means get ready. We've got difficult times ahead. Have confidence in me. Jesus was saying, get up. In that particular instance, at the Garden of Gethsemane, he was saying to them, get up, get ready. There's a thing that's about to happen, and I don't want you lying on the ground. I don't want you sitting around. I want you getting ready. We see it again with the book of the prophet Jeremiah. God saying to Jeremiah, rise up. I've got something for you to do. Get up, go over there, and then I'll tell you what it is I want you to do, what I want you to say to my people. But first, you have to react to this thing that I'm telling you to do, which means you got to get up and you've got to get going. We see it in the gospel reading today, the gospel of Matthew chapter 13. Jesus said to his disciples, the kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it's full, they haul it ashore and sit down to put what is good into buckets. What is bad they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace where, they, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Brothers and sisters, there's going to be a time when the Lord says to the angels, rise up, go separate them. It's time. So what are we doing? We're called to rise up now that we might prepare those um, as many souls as possible to be in the good buckets. In, in this parable, we're either in the good buckets or we're getting thrown away. Those that we love, those that we care for, those that we have some access to are either going to be in the good buckets or they're going to get tossed away, thrown into the place where there's wailing and grinding of teeth. And what do we see later in that gospel reading? Jesus says, do you understand all these things? The followers, his apostles said yes. And then he answered, Then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his store, storeroom both what is new and what is old. The things that we are founded upon, the foundation that has been placed, but then what the Spirit of God is saying to us in the moment that we might move forward with the grace that is sufficient for that moment to accomplish the work that is at hand. But first, but first, the invitation is always there to rise up. Let us rise up today, brothers and sisters. Let us rise up and do the thing that the Lord is calling us to do today. Let us have the effect that he has called us to have today, that we ourselves might be changed as we rise up and that those around us might be changed as we encourage them to rise up as well. Rise up, our words for today.